Hello, class of 2021. I'm Mr. Coronado here, and I'm here to present about the graduation requirements, Learn, Plan, Succeed, FAFSA and the Alternative Financial Aid Application, Credit Recovery, and Senior Eligibility. Meet Curie's Administrators. Dr. Tingwall, our principal, Mr. Gill, our assistant principal, who's over freshman, PE, and English departments. Ms. Miles, who, our assistant principal, who's over, works with juniors, over the AVID program, the counseling department, and diverse learning departments. Dr. Oladipo, assistant principal, who's over sophomores. The careers to education program, JROTC, arts and science department. Mr. Penuelas, Assistant Principal over Seniors, Social Studies Department, the Deans and Attendance Office. And our resident principal, Ms. Shanovich, works with freshmen, diverse learners, and the Social Studies Department. Here we have the counseling team, and we'll go into more detail with that uh, department. Ms. Lamort, the Climate and Culture Coordinator. Mr. Vega, Dean. Mr. Garcia, College and Career Coach. Mr. Vaca, our attendance coordinator, and Mr. Camarillo, our dean. All of uh, these team members are involved in the senior uh, process. So you might hear of them when we uh, pull reports and information for senior requirements. So meet your Curie High School counseling team. Myself, Mr. Coronado, I have divisions 101, 123, 129, and 143. Email is below, Ms. Velez. She has 109, 152, and 153. Ms. Maria Lopez Cardona, she has divisions 141, 142, 151, and 153. Mr. Dockman has 104, 108, and 128. Dr. Peterson has divisions 107, 112, and 124. And Mr. Murphy has 111, 112, uh, 122, 126, and 132. Ms. Jarrell has 113, 121, and 131. And Ms. Bavali has 110, 127, and 130. And concluding, uh, our department chair, Ms. Joy Perkins, has divisions 102 and 103. And this is our college and career coach, Mr. Garcia. And right now I'm going to share a message with you from Mr. Penuelas. Hello, class of 2021. It's 2021. Your graduation is so close. I can already see you getting that diploma. Remember to continue to work hard in all your classes to ensure that you receive all the necessary credits for graduation. You should also be working towards completing your post-secondary plan. By this point, you should have three college applications along with your FAFSA completed. Remember, this year, both those things are graduation requirements. I hope you had a great start to this year and a great finish to your last year at Curie. Hello, class of 2021. It's 2021. Thank you, Mr. Peñuelas, for that message. Hello, Claire. Graduation requirements. Every student in Chicago Public Schools must have the following in order to graduate. Uh, 24 credits, nine CPS non-credit requirements are now required to graduate. Learn, plan, succeed, uh, having a concrete post-secondary plan and evidence uploaded in Naviance. The FAFSA or financial aid application, evidence uploaded to Naviance as well. Uh, you can check with the main office for student debts. Seniors are able to pay for cap and gowns via parent portal. And you can complete senior fees have yet to be determined due to COVID. So graduation requirements, uh, four years of English, three years of math, three years of science, three years of social science, 
two years of the same uh, world language. So, for example, Spanish 1, Spanish 2, French 1, French 2. Languages cannot be mixed. Two years of fine arts, one year of career ed, one year of computer science, and two full credits of PE or JRRTC, as well as three elective courses. Now the CPS non-credit graduation requirements include two service learning projects, civics and other, driver's education, constitution, consumer ed, financial literacy, health education, the state mandate, mandated exam, which is the SAT, learn, plan, succeed, and the financial aid application. These will all be displayed on your transcripts as non-credit requirements on the front of the official transcript and in the second page of the unofficial transcript. They will be marked and uh, as dated when they are completed. And now I'm gonna play a video on Learn, Plan, Succeed. Know what to do. Some of them might not even know other career paths other than college. So Learn, Plan, Succeed will definitely open up more opportunities for students. There are a lot of options with Learn, Plan, Succeed. For example, there's the traditional four-year or two-year degree program to have a job or apprenticeship, to enlist in the military, to be part of a gap year program. We have invested a lot of time and resource into ensuring that all of our students are aware of their options after high school, prioritizing college. But there are many more pathways, such as a career and technical education program, uh, the military. We're also encouraging students to take a gap year if they believe that that is the right next step for them to help figure out their goals in life. It will be a graduation requirement that will be kicked off for the class of 2020 and it will just lay pathways and opportunities for them to keep moving forward. The most important thing that's helped me succeed is my counselor. He really helps me figure out what options for financial aid are helpful, what I'm going to do my senior year to prepare me for college. It's really important that we organize our schools, organize our guidance counselor offices around providing that level of support for all of our students. We are given the privilege to kind of have support, have our counselors really focused on helping plan our individualized future. The counselor is basically there to make sure that you got everything you need to be successful in whatever path you choose. Help push that communication between the counselors and the students to make sure that they're all aware of what they have to be doing and what they need to get done and help them plan out what they really want to do in life. And I want all students to be able to feel like confident about whatever they want to do in the future and feel like they're supported and prepared for whatever they want to do. After senior year, the whole life is ahead of you. So you gotta get it ready. We have a responsibility to make sure that they are successful when they leave. And part of that responsibility includes giving them a concrete plan, a path forward so that they can be successful in college careers and beyond. Okay, learn, plan, succeed. Uh, to be honest, we've been uh, ahead of the game with this at Curie High School. We've been trying to create uh, post-secondary goals uh, for the last five years with students as they graduate, but now it is official. Uh, as you can see with the video discussed, is we have pathways that the district does recognize, whether that be college, uh, the military, work, trade apprenticeship, a job training program, or gap year program. And the district is requiring us to upload evidence. So for a college application, uh, it would be the, uh, first of all, it would start off with the acceptance letter and then eventually the award letter and orientation, enlistment letter. Uh, for a job, it would be uh, an employment, proof of employment. Uh, and a trade apprenticeship program would be proof of acceptance into the program. 
Uh, it is going to be a high school requ uh, requirement as of starting of last year. Every 12th grade student must have the evidence of next institution for life beyond high school in the form of a concrete plan. And then this will show up on your transcript as well. Under Naviance, you'll be able to upload your evidence under uh, the task LPS evidence and then LPS pathway, just like you've been uploading your college applications that are requirements, the three college apps, uh, the FAFSA, uh, just you'll be able to upload the evidence and the pathways. So the FAFSA and the alternative app for Illinois financial aid. Uh, if you have not done so already, we're, uh, the district is requesting that students uh, upload their student aid report from FAFSA to their Naviance task. Uh, included, we included the link to FAFSA. If you still have not applied, please do so. Uh, the money will be running out soon. Um, the alternative application for Illinois financial aid application is also required for students who aren't eligible for FAFSA. And you'll also be able to upload that on Naviance. And the link is also provided here as well. If you need an appointment and support, you can go ahead and scan that QR code right there. And a counselor or our post-secondary coach, Mr. Garcia, will assist you. Credit Recovery 2021. So credit recovery registration will begin shortly after the semester begins. Uh, it will officially start and run from February 16th through May 27th. Please continue to check your email daily for announcements. You must register with your school counselor. There will be two classes offered during the week, Mondays and Wednesdays, and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 4 to 6.25 p.m. There will also be a, a Saturday class available as well. Each credit recovery co class counts for half a credit, uh, since we are still virtual, you can attend credit recovery and any CPS high school that fits your schedule. Graduation. The graduation tentative ceremony is for June 16th, 2021. The earning your wings report that you'll be receiving if you have any questions or concerns in regards to these reports. Please email your counselor. Uh, I, historically, we've met with students in the fall with seniors to kind of review everything they needed for graduation. If you have not done so, please set up an email, a Google Meet with your counselor to review credits. The semester's around the corner. Once again, we're going to be reviewing students' transcripts and making sure all credits are aligned. Uh, we want to make sure that there are no you know, hiccups towards the end of the semester where you don't recognize that you don't have something for graduation. The Condor Report also has your current grades on there, uh, what you're currently passing. Now's the time to communicate with your teachers. We have three or four weeks left in school. Push through this semester. Do your best to try to uh, bring up your grades, whatever they may be at this point. Communication is key. Uh, if you need to request a meeting with your counselor to review your credits at the end of the semester to see uh, if you're on track, if you can uh, still, or if you need anything to recover, uh, this will be the, the time to do it. Uh, February, at the end of February, is a busy time for us just because we start registering students for their classes for the next school year. So the beginning of February, the end of this month, is a perfect opportunity to uh, communicate with your counselor. And finish strong. We're just going to make sure that we want to encourage all you students to make sure that you're communicating with your counselor, with all your teachers, to make sure that you're on track. Review your reports, your selectivity reports, your condo reports, your earning wings to make sure that everything is accurate. If you have any questions or concerns or any hesitations, please, please, please email your counselor to set up a meeting and to review your transcript. We will be reviewing transcripts as the semester ends and we'll have credit evaluations updated uh, the second or third week of February. Thank you very much and have a great re uh, rest of this semester and school year.